So I decided to uh, go to the crafting hall to uh, cut down on the items I was carrying. Since I had hit a plateau on the amount of uh, platinum that I could hold on to, I decided uh, raising the crafting skill would be an, a good option. You don't get as much uh, platinum from uh, dissolving items as you do from selling them at the shop. So this way I was able to raise my crafting skill and, and not go over my platinum cap. The uh, game limits the amount of uh, money that a character can own. Uh, for VIP and premium players, it's a uh, 4.3 million platinum. Uh, however, for free-to-play players, as my account here, it depends on the character level. Uh, my character was level 4, and so my platinum cap was 10,000 platinum. It, um, at level 1, you have 1,250 platinum as your cap. And then uh, the limit doubles for every level you gain until level 13, at which point your uh, cap is the same as uh, VIP and premium players. Uh, once I hit level 5, though, uh, I had a cap of 20,000. That was enough for getting through most of the game, I'd say. Uh, I rarely had more than 20,000 platinum on my character at any point in time after level 5. There's a very nice guide for... Um, leveling up your crafting skill that uh, Voodoo Spice has created. I will leave a, a link to that uh, in the description. Uh, I didn't have enough uh, essences to uh, really uh, take advantage of that uh, guide though. So I just did some basic crafting here to raise my level. Likely uh, in my next life I'll try and follow uh, Voodoo Spice's guide and uh, get the rest of the levels on uh, my crafting skill. I should have enough funds at that point that I can buy some of the larger stacks of essences off the auction house. I also uh, purchased one of the medium soul bags. Uh, I have uh, soul stealing on a ring and soul stealing on some armor that I'm wearing. And so quite often uh, enemy creatures will be destroyed and turned into soul gems. I did find this pair of uh, boots that had uh, feather falling and silver flame on them. That gave me a plus four Hallowed bonus and a plus four sacred bonus to my uh, turn undead ability. I did find that there have been changes in the game since I last played, and the fiendish spiders are now classified as vermin. Uh, they used to be classified as magical beasts, and you could use your turn undead on them if you were part of the animal domain. I'm not certain if there are any other changes to magical beasts that may uh, also have reduce the number of creatures that you could potentially turn. Uh, here after I uh, took level 5 I decided to reset my enhancement trees to focus more on damage dealing with the Divine Disciple tree. But I did still put some points into Radiant Servants so that I would be able to continue to uh, turn undead at uh, an equivalent level.